we are going to make a scrumptious, comforting meal. We're calling this slow cooker chicken stuffing green bean casserole. It's happening in my crock pot. It's really easy to make. It's almost like a dump and go recipe. We're not gonna be cooking or browning anything before it goes into the crock pot. We're just gonna place it all in and let it slow cook. This one's a delicious one. First thing we're gonna do is spray our crock pot with some nonstick cooking spray. And I like to use the avocado spray because the only ingredient in here is avocado oil. That's it. No chemicals, nothing like that. I'm using four chicken breasts. They're skinless, boneless. You can use about three or four for this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and season the chicken first before we place it into the crock pot. So I'm gonna go across with some salt. Woo! Some black pepper. We've gotta flavor all the layers for sure, right? Some garlic powder onion powder go right across the top and I'm using smoked paprika as a nice flavor you don't have to add this if you don't want to but I'm going to all right we're gonna flip these over and we're gonna do the other side salt going across pepper does pepper make you sneeze? Does me. Garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. All right, let's go ahead now and place these in our crock pot. I'm just gonna place them in the crock pot in a single layer. The next ingredient that we are going to dump into our crock pot, frozen green beans. My husband will be happy about that. <laughs> He just doesn't like canned green beans, but I can put frozen in anything and he'll be happy with that, or even fresh green beans. All right, so I'm gonna put enough in here to where it'll feed my family of four and leftovers. That might be enough right there. I brought two packages out, but these are 12 ounces for each package, but I'm just gonna use the one right here because that, that looks like plenty right there. Doesn't that look pretty in there? The next ingredient that we're gonna dump into the crock pot is stove top stuffing. I'm using the chicken flavor. These are six ounce boxes each, so two of them will go into the crock pot. They have different flavors of these. They have the cornbread or they have turkey. Yep. All right. Now the stove top stuffing has the seasonings in it, so it's gonna add a nice flavor. Okay, let's make that delicious sauce that's just gonna pull this all together. We're gonna start in a medium bowl and we're gonna place in half a cup of mayonnaise. You heard me right. I'm like in Southeast Texas and I swear it's trying to play with us today. It's like hot. It's like not summer yet. We're still in March, the end of March anyway. There we go. It's your favorite mayonnaise, whatever you like. It's gonna add a nice creaminess to it. All right, half a cup of sour cream. All right, right there. And try not to touch the dish because we don't want to cross contaminate. I'm going to guess this. There we go. That looks good right there. All right. One can, which is 10 ounces of chicken broth. That'll help with that flavor. All right. Let's put that in. And then we're going to add in one can of water, which is 10 ounces. Now I have a secret ingredient that's gonna help really flavor this dish. It's chicken gravy. It's a packet and it's 0.87 ounces. Let's 
So we're going to add that into our mix here. This will help thicken everything up also. All right, we're going to grab a whisk, blend this all together. That's going to be good. Give it a taste to see if you need to add any seasonings to this. You shouldn't need to because the stovetop stuffing has the seasoning packet into it. We flavored the chicken with seasonings and then we have the chicken broth and the chicken gravy mix. So, all right, let me get a spoon, give that a taste. Oh my goodness. I hope I can wait four and a half hours for that. <laughs> it's going on high so it gets done faster. All right, let's pour that all over the stovetop stuffing mixture in there. Mm, yeah, creaminess. Just keep pouring it. Make sure you get all of that stovetop stuffing nice and covered, nice and wet. Now remember, this is going down into the green beans, <laughs> into that chicken. There we go. Get that stirred up. Doesn't that look good? All right, I'm just going to clean up the sides here a little bit. There. That's a full meal in there, I'm telling you what, and it looks delicious. We're gonna place a lid on. I'm gonna cook this on high about four hours. Now it all depends on your chicken in the crock pot. If you're using really thick chicken breast, which I am, you wanna stick to that four, four and a half hours on high. But you can give it a check earlier and just make sure that you can take a fork, stick it into the chicken, and you can twist and it just shreds apart. It's very tender and fully cooked. If you want to go on low all day, you could do six to eight hours. Again, just check your chicken. And that's as simple as it gets. I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, this is done. It took three hours. That chicken down below is a very tender. So I'm gonna go in all the way to the bottom go through that stuffing green beans that delicious oh look at that mm, mm, mm. look at that chicken tender tender it's just falling apart all right let's put this on a plate and give it a try for you not much to look at but let me tell you those flavors are rocking in there some of that stuffing don't forget your green beans Mm. That is a delicious, comforting, all-in-one meal here. You got your vegetable, you got your protein, you've got the stuffing, and then you've got that delicious sauce that we made to incorporate everything all together for the perfect bite. All right, crock pot, chicken, stuffing, green bean casserole. However you want to call it, it's all in there. Y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think. Mmm, my husband's wants, my husband wants this right now. <laughs> He's shaking his head yes. Okay, I'll see y'all on the next episode.